Good evening everyone and thank you for watching this video on how to section or joint an entire chicken. Um, being able to break down an entire chicken is a very useful skill to have as a home cook. Not only is it very versatile and cost effective, but if you're a single person, it can make an entire chicken last a long time. You don't have to roast the entire chicken and then have it go to waste a day or two later because you're not gonna eat it. And this way you can break it down and you can have the dark meat, which is the wings, wings, drumettes, and the chicken leg quarters, or break it down further into the thighs and drumsticks. And you can also have the white meat separate, which is the chicken breast. Um, with those components, you can have a variety of recipes throughout the week so that you don't get bored and only have roast chicken. You can make a roasted chicken thighs, chicken soup with the breast, um, stuff on, make uh, some chicken cordon bleu, and um, if you de-skin and debone the chicken, you can expand your recipe repertoire. So what we have here is about a five to six pound chicken that cost me about six or seven dollars. So, you know, it's tiny, but it'll make, it, it can go a long way, especially if you're just a single person or if it's just two of you, you can make this chicken last an entire week and have a variety of recipes to go with it. A useful thing to have is a very sharp knife. I personally like using a chef knife because it's, very, it's a very versatile tool in the kitchen to have. You can also have a small paring knife or a fillet or deboning knife that they're very sharp and pointy edges. So what we have the chicken here, we're gonna open it up. We're gonna make a little incision between the breast and the chicken leg. Try not to cut into the breast. And once we do that, pop it until you see the joint pop out. And once you do that, you're gonna cut close to the carcass. Careful to not get into the breast and just let the knife do the work. So now you have a chicken leg quarter here. The chicken around, do the same thing. Pull it. Hear the joint pop, get your knife close to the carcass and let the knife do the work. As you see, I'm not cutting through any bone. I'm cutting between the joints and just letting the knife cut through the meat and tendons so it goes in effortlessly. We're gonna bring it around again. We're gonna go to the chicken wing section now. You're gonna feel where the joint is and once again, let the knife do the work, close to the carcass, try to get as much of the meat as possible. And now we have the wings here. Go to the other side, feel for the joint. We have the wing here. Now we've effectively separated our dark meat from the white meat. What we have left on the carcass is the chicken breast itself. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna feel for the breast bone and make a little incision there. All the way down. Cut through the wishbone. and just cut down. We separate the first chicken breast here and we have a tenderloin. That, that's a tender part of the chicken. You can also slit this up to separate it further. Go around to the other side. and just cut close to the carcass. Just cut right through the wishbone so you can make one straight incision. 
we have the second breast here. And now you have effectively separated your, your major um, chicken meat from the carcass. And we can save that for stock. And we have our chicken breast here. Our chicken wings and our leg quarters. You can break this down further into the wings um, and the drumettes and the drumsticks and the thighs. And you can have a wide variety of recipes just from these six pieces of chicken meat right here. You can save the carcass, like I mentioned earlier, to make chicken stock, um, or you can do it right away, freeze it. It's a variety of things that you can do. It's very cost effective. It'll save you a lot of money in the long run. And if you're not good at carving chicken on the table, you can break it down like this. You can have a nicer and neater presentation for family and friends when they come over. And they don't have to watch you stumble carving the chicken breast from the carcass and just breaking it all apart. And you can also, if you have a nice dinner date, set up some um, chicken breast, um, stuff them, chicken parmesan. So there's a variety of things you can do once you break a chicken down into the separate components. Uh, thanks for watching.